All right, up next we have a doozy, both in the alumni that are famous from here and in the particular alumnus we're gonna be talking about today. So this is James Madison High School. And James Madison High School is a public high school in the Madison subsection of Sheepshead Bay in Brooklyn. It serves students in grades nine through 12 and is in region six of the New York City Department of Education. Established in 1925, the school has many famous graduates, among them the late United States Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, two sitting senators in Bernie Sanders and Chuck Schumer, former Senator Norm Coleman of Minnesota, and other famous authors, musicians, and athletes. It is one of only four secondary schools worldwide that has elected five or more Nobel laureates. Wow. Yeah. James Madison High School is organized in accordance with the house system. There are eight houses, each having a teacher coordinator, a guidance counselor, and an assistant principal assigned to supervise and assist students. Sounds like Harry Potter. Yeah. We have special programs. What are the houses called? Here we go. Uh, Hufflepuff. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, special programs. Most students who apply to James Madison High School have the opportunity to apply to a specific house. They include the Law Institute, and I think it actually the. Uh, oh, I think you're maybe? right. Yeah. The Law Institute. Students develop an understanding of American legal institutions and participate in activities such as moot courts and mock congressional hearings. The Biomedical Institute. Experts explore science through experiments. Experts. Students explore <laughs> science through experimentation and hands-on experience in courses including AP Biology, Pathology, or AP Psychology. Math Academy. Students are given an opportunity to explore mathematics topics and to participate in math-related contests, events, and trips. Liberal Arts House, AVID Academy. The Liberal Arts Academy offers a course of study in humanities and arts, including project-based studies in history, English, literature, creative writing, music, and theater. The Information Technology House, known informally as IT House, offers students the chance to take Microsoft Word and Excel certification exams for free and engage with computer technology, programming, and computer engineering. The Academy of Finance, where students learn the basics of economics, finance, and banking, and compare financial systems on both macro and micro scale. The International House, students of limited English proficiency, a program for students whose primary language is not English, who get the opportunity to learn language and culture through immersion. Wow. And the Madison Academy of Community and Civil Service, where students develop their literacy skills through community service projects, such as cross-age tutoring, which matches them up with elementary school students who need help learning how to read. Oh, wow. I mean, this sounds like it was taken right from the brochure. Yeah. And it yeah. also sounds like something that should be in the brochure because I want to go here. Yeah, that sounds, sounds great. great. Sounds great to me, yeah. Also kind of explains why so many really uh, successful, talented people came out of here. That's right. And speaking of successful, talented people, yeah. our resident musician, very famous, may even rival uh, our earlier Barbara Streisand yeah. lore. Carol King Klein, also born, or born Carol Joan Klein on February 9th, 1942, okay. is an American singer-songwriter who has been active since 1958, initially as one of the staff songwriters at the Brill Building, and later as a solo artist. Hmm. She is the most successful female songwriter of the latter half of the 20th century in the U.S., wow. having written or co-written 118 pop hits on the Billboard Hot 100. Oh my gosh. King also wrote 61 hits that charted in the UK, making her the most successful female songwriter on all UK singles charts between 1962 and 2005. King's major success began in the 1960s when she and her first husband, Gary Goffin, or Jerry Goffin, wrote more than two dozen chart hits, wow. many of which have become standards for numerous artists. She has continued writing for other artists since then. 
King's success as a performer in her own right did not come until the 1970s, when she sang her own songs, accompanying herself on piano in a series of albums and concerts. After experiencing commercial disappointment with her debut album, Writer, King scored her breakthrough with the album Tapestry, which topped the U.S. album chart for 15 weeks in 1971 oh, wow. and remained on the charts for more than six years. King has made 25 solo albums, the most successful being Tapestry, which held the record for most weeks at number one by a female artist for more than 20 years. Her record sales were estimated at more than 75 million copies worldwide. She has won four Grammy Awards and was inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame and the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame for her songwriting. She is a recipient of the 2013 Liberty Congress Gershwin Prize for Popular Song, the first woman to be so honored. And she is a 2015 Kennedy Center honoree. And I, uh, I just copy pasted her top 10 albums and her top 10 singles oh, for reference. Nice. She has, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven top 10 albums. Tapestry in 1971, which was number one. Music, which was number one in 1971 as well. 1972's Rhymes and Reasons, which was number two. 1973's Fantasy, number six. 1974's Wraparound Joy, which was number one. Did I say 1974? Okay. 1976's Thoroughbred, which is number three. And 2010's Live at the Troubadour with James Taylor, oh. which was number four. Wow. As far as her top 10 singles, I Feel the Earth Move, which was number uh, one in 1971. And It's Too Late, which is 1971 as well. And Sweet Seasons, number nine in 1971. I don't know that one. Was that not the Gilmore Girls one? What no, was the one there? that's where you lead. Oh, okay. Jazz Man, number two in 1974 and Nightingale, number nine in oh. 1974. And those are just her songs. This doesn't reference the many other songs that she wrote for other people. I didn't know that she had written a bunch of songs for other people. Yeah. That's yeah, she's a... That's cool to know. So but she's... that's what she did before, because she's so well known for her own music, too. That's right. So she's a... She's a diva in another way, where yeah. she's uh, pulling the strings of the totally. music industry behind as we're looking at the behind of this building. <laughs> it's such a massive school. Yeah. It's yeah. so nice looking. There was a ton of kids out here playing all sorts of sports yesterday. Oh yeah? Yeah. Wonder where they are today. Great question. It's, it's still a Thursday. It's still a school day. Yeah. I don't know where they are. Maybe, uh, I guess it's still a school day, but it's still weird COVID rules. Maybe. So maybe they're like, just having kids in every other day or something and then bleaching the place. Yeah. But, all right. We shall continue on to our next school. Okay.